What's up everybody? I am stoked. I am on my way to go pick up one of my dream animals. So I was really excited to make a little video for you guys. It's Sunday, you know, I usually don't make videos or I don't work on Sundays usually, but this is a special occasion and you guys are about to see what I'm about to pick up from a legend. So here it is. This is what I picked up from Tom Crutchfield. And this little guy is a super crimson albino iguana. Let me take this guy out so you guys can get a better look at him. All right, so check this thing out. This is probably the rarest morph lizard, most expensive lizard I've ever purchased. Now, you see his body, how he's, there's a whole bunch of orange and red running down his back. Well, all this yellow and all this, it's gonna be covered by that orange. It's gonna be a completely orange iguana. That's why he calls them the super crimsons. Now, the albino iguanas in particular tend to be a little more tame than regular iguanas because their eyesight is not the best. But obviously these guys have hatched in captivity. They are as tame as could be right now. And I'm about to put them in his little enclosure. Let's go. Look how this thing looks in the sun. Absolutely crazy. What? Look at this thing. So this thing is gonna turn fully orange when it gets older. Incredible. He doesn't even wanna leave my hand. Come on, little buddy. Obviously, this is the green iguana. It's just an, it's a morph. It's a super crimson albino, which an albino is a rec recessive mutation. But the super crimson is just a, basically a really, a super red albino iguana. So there's the green iguanas and there's the red green iguanas, which are, green iguana is just a species. And then the red iguana is just like a morph. And then this is a like a super red albino green iguana. You can see it has that really bright green, almost neon yellow green bottom on there. But look at this cute guy. Super excited. Now I didn't get to film too much in uh, Tom Crutchfield's farm. I didn't really wanna I, that was the first time I really met him, so I didn't want to be like come off as that, you know, that millennial that's always just with his phone out. I wanted to really soak in a lot of the knowledge he was talking about. Um, but I'm sure I'll be back one day. Uh, he was really friendly. He was really cool, and I'm glad I could finally pick up one of these guys from him. But if you didn't know, Tom Crutchfield was actually the first person to ever produce an albino iguana in captivity. So it's pretty cool that I got my first albino iguana from him. Dope. 